What's up, y'all? Welcome to the vlog. Well, there's not much going on today. Worked late again. Not complaining. Who's a blue collar and complains about overtime? Oh. Eh. Well, what's up? Oh, I hate it for you, all these flies. I need... Do I need to get you a mask? I'm sorry, girl. I'm gonna look at a mask for her. Help her out. She wants to act like they're not bothering her, but... We got... It, it wasn't like our old place where we used to have her, where there wasn't, surprisingly, wasn't a lot of flies, but over here, there is. Yep, I'm gonna have to put a mask on you. <laughs> yep. Also need to get you brushed down. Get that summer coat looking all nice and silky smooth. All right, so the only thing I plan on doing today, I bet the only reason why you're following me is because you want the grain. I bet that's what it is. But the only thing I got planned on doing today is checking the minnow traps, filling up the minnow trough, and um, pretty much it. So this might be a short vlog unless something interesting happens. So Sky came down here yesterday and set all the traps again. She insisted that we kept the traps where they were at. She, they love catching crawfish and they love eating them too, so. I guess they're bound to determine to catch a bunch of them. The only problem with catching crawfish here in Tennessee, it's not like deeper down in the south where you get those big red crawfish. And like, you know, you only need like 20 a person. Here in Tennessee, you need about 500 a person. It's a little bit more work, but it, I mean, it's still good. All right, let's see what we got. Well, oh, we got a couple crawfish. Not a lot. I told them we should change this to a different spot, but they insisted. Look, we only got like four crawfish. Oh, no, wait, we got like six, I think. All right, let me go ahead and empty out this trap and get it in the bucket. Well, first I need to get water in the bucket. Here we go. Lapua, you plan on eating them crawfish? <laughs> Is that water good, Lapua? <laughs> you got fresh water up there at the farm. You want to sit there and let creek water? Really? That ain't make no sense. I'll leave this out just like it is because when the kids see it out of the creek, they know to go up there and get some more bait and set it again. I let them do that. They enjoy setting the traps just about as much as they enjoy checking the traps. And right now they're in the house enjoying the nice AC and watching a movie after their nice fun filled water fun day, whatever you would call it. So we have our normal three traps set out, and that's pretty much the, about the average amount of traps that will set out when the creek is super low. And it's, I, I wouldn't say it's super low, it's low. It's not as bad as last year. We might actually have some minnows in this trap, boys and girls. This one normally produces a bunch of crawfish. Oh, no. Stay true to what it normally does. <laughs> yep. Bunch of crawfish, couple minnows. That's good. We could use those. Eat out. Oh, oh, got two hiders. That ain't bad. Put this right here where they can see it. Oh, I guess I should help them out and put the clip on there so they know where to find it. What's up, girl? <laughs> I'll get you more food in a second. Golly. Old fat boy up there. Soaking up the shade. Can't argue with that. It was actually hot today. It wasn't as hot as it was yesterday, but it was just... What? A corn victim? Midnight! No! Our corn stalks are... Well, can't really blame her on that. But you could at least finished eating the corn. It wasn't even ready. Why did you eat it? Why did you eat my corn? Zero cares in her pocket. Chelsea's not going to be too happy with this. Eh... Uh, I'm pretty much one to blame for this, so Chelsea is, eh, she's gonna light me up for this one. The reason why it's my fault, because I turn off the system during the day and I'll turn it on at night. Mainly because she never leans on the fence during the day and she might touch the fence at night. I feel sorry for whoever touches this fence right now because it has been nothing but clear blue skies today and I'm sure that system's fully charged. So on this last trap, I have to cross the road and go onto my neighbor's property, which I have permission for. And what a lot of people around here don't realize is that everything that's off the road is our properties. And when you go to the creek to fish, it is still our property. I own half of the creek that touches my bank. My neighbor owns his half, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So, yep. 
yeah i mean i'm not one to complain about it much because most of the people that come over here are pretty decent and they don't bother us or anything and they're you know good people for the most part but the only problem is is most of us have great pyrenees around here and like lapua he's still a puppy so he's going to come off all friendly but eventually his mature side's going to get a better hold of him and he's going to get a little bit more aggressive about the areas that he protects my neighbor he has two great pyrenees his neighbor has three. My other neighbor on the other side has two. That's a lot of dogs coming after you for you coming down here to a creek that's not on public land for you to fish. All right, where is Zayla put my trap? Oh, she put it right there. Oh, uh, we got a couple minnows in there with dog food still there. It looks like we got a crawfish hanging upside down in the trap too. Oh, uh, but yeah. I think it's time to go ahead and put up no trespassing signs just in case Lapua does ever get aggressive we already warned the people like i said it doesn't really bother me but mainly what bothers me is the fact that any one of these dogs that are here to do their job can snap at any second and if you do history on some of these livestock guardian dogs family farm protective dogs they get pretty much black tunnel when they're going after whatever they're going after to protect their family their herd or their farm whatever you want to call it yeah i think we might have to make a walmart run and get some no trespassing signs at least get them posted up well it wasn't a bunch and the water's all dirty and everything hey we got a casualty that's all right the crawfish will eat them carrying a bucket full of bait up a steep rock incline is not fun <laughs> where am i going that's the longest way around the house i already know right now this is going to make that water really dirty that's nice to see we have no casualties in here Oh, never mind. We did have one, but it looks like the crawfish ate it. Guess they got hungry. Here you go, guys. Welcome to your new home for a couple days. America! Ah. Go set my flags out. Represent. Lapua, you're in my flag area. And it looks like the kids did not do a good job picking up their mess after they were done playing. Kids. Don't they know better? Yes! Yes! Yeah, I feel better now. I mean, it ain't much. I got a couple more flags I want to put up, but in order for me to put them up, I either got to get some poles on these poles or run a beam across the edge of the roof underneath the gutter and I can drape the flags down. But, you know. <laughs> also, if y'all are noticing this mess right here, oh, I saw you, Lapua. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, that's the culprit right there. All of this. All this fluffing and stuffing and tore up pillows. If you're thinking about getting a farm dog, one of the... Hi. Bo's being Bo. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting a farm dog, that's one of the main things that they should go ahead and put on the top of your hay to watch out for. Um, when you're not around and you have your scent on something, and they want you to be around, they tear up that item that has your scent. Whether it's your shoes, your lawn furniture. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Yeah. It's like day two, you ain't got no clothes on. What in the world? Well, yeah, expect your stuff to get tore up. Uh, I don't know, the guy, the guy that I bought it from, he's bred Great Pyrenees for several years. And he said that is one thing that's really hard to break out of them when you socialize them is trying to keep them off of your stuff. So that's a good tip for owning a... What? You're not even in trouble. Why are you always looking guilty? Mm-hmm. 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 So that's your tip for the day of owning a livestock guardian dog. Well, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get my afternoon chores done. Like I said, not much happening here today. Y'all, thank you for watching the vlog. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless.